Hey guys, um, I got a new motherboard in today I wanted to show you. This is the Gigabyte S series. This one is the uh, G31M-ES2L. Uh, this is a quad core motherboard. Um, kind of a micro motherboard. I really can't get over how tiny it is. I guess I should have looked at dimensions when I ordered it. Um, but she is small. <laughs> It's supposed to have some uh, fairly decent overclocking potential and uh, run the modern Core 2 uh, duals and uh, Core 2 quad processors. So we're going to throw this in a case and uh, put it together with a Q9300 and uh, see what, uh, what it can do. Well, here's a shot of it in the case. Um, quite tiny. Um, should be plenty of room in the case to move around and do other stuff. I'm just hoping my uh, big thermal take cooler is going to fit in there on this board. Uh, it's probably half the size of the board itself. Plus we got the big uh, ATI video card to put in here and between the two of them they're going to be monsters compared to the size of this board. Well, we're making progress. Uh, however slow we are getting there. Got the power supply in there and uh, video card, RAM cooler, or uh, CPU cooler. Uh, this case is so small I'm not able to use a RAM cooler or an Earthbridge cooler, but the nice thing about this uh, blue orb is it's so big that it's going to blow air on the Northbridge and it's also blowing air over the uh, RAM chip so it's going to help cool them as well as the CPU. And I had to stick a 80 millimeter in the back instead of a 120 because there just isn't room. The, uh, the blue orb is almost up to the back of the case. so. I wanted some way to pull air out, so we went with the 80 millimeter there, but uh, we're getting a little farther along. Here is the uh, IDE ribbon that we bundled up. As you can see, that works pretty good to be able to tuck it up under the way, so we're not going to block any airflow from the front of the case with it. So uh, hopefully in the next video we should have this thing started up and running. Well, here it is, a uh, shot of it running. Um, I did take the 4870 card out of there. I just did that to uh, do some benchmarking on it to see what uh, kind of performance we got. Uh, with everything stock, we got about 14,000 in 3D Mark 06. Not too bad. Um, with some overclocking and stuff, I'm sure we could uh, get them scores up. Um, pretty happy with this board so far. I put uh, Windows 64-bit Vista on here. Um, no problems at all, no glitches, installed uh, without any problems, drivers went without any trouble. So far I've been rock solid. Uh, pretty happy with it for a cheap board so far. We will uh, do an update in the future here and uh, try some overclocking and stuff on it and see what kind of gaming we can get out of a economy build like this. But for a cheap setup, uh, looks pretty good so far. And I think a lot of people would be happy with it. So thanks for watching. Uh, remember to comment and subscribe if you haven't already.